everyone, and welcome back to another Hearthstone Deck Spotlight. My name is Tommy Wave, and today we'll be taking a look at who is Neo's Hakar Priest. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, a variation on uh, a lot of the kind of resurrect, death rattly priests that have been happening in the uh, last kind of third of the uh, previous expansion. Uh, we saw a lot of combo decks with cloning gallery as well, where you're trying to get Valen and Malagos out. Uh, we've seen a lot of more uh, kind of grindy value orientated decks as well with Obsidian Statue and these kind of things and uh, other Inner Fire Divine Spirit decks where you're trying to use re the Resurrect on like a Witchwood Grizzly or a Charged Devil Saw or something along those lines and kill your opponent that way. So plenty of different variations on what is essentially kind of the same core of a deck. You know, you're going to play some spells, you're going to use Shadow Visions to find the right ones, you're going to use some controlling elements like Spirit Lash and Psychic Scream and now the brand new Mass Hysteria, which I think is very cool. Uh, you're going to use those to stay alive and stay in the game while slowly powering up your spell stone so that eventually once you've had things like Lyra, Radiant Elemental, uh, maybe even some higher value things like Obsidian Statue die, you can use the spell stone, get them all back and get a whole bunch of value. Uh, so some new cards in the deck, we mentioned uh, Mass Hysteria. Uh, and we've also got the namesake card, Hakar. So in case you haven't seen Hakar, it's 10 mana, 9, 8. It death rattles to summon a corrupted blood into each player's deck. The corrupted blood, when drawn, uh, deals damage and then shuffles more copies of corrupted blood into your deck. So it will kill you uh, and can kill you very quickly if you have a small deck. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking to do. Uh, we're not going to be drawing, trying to draw too many cards. Uh, we're going to try and keep our deck nice and thick so that we're not going to draw those uh, Corrupted Bloods very often and hopefully our opponent will. Uh, one thing that I would personally change uh, just quickly is I would probably cut this Psychic Stream for another Mass Hysteria. I was playing a Cloning Gallery version of uh, Hakar last night. Uh, I think the Psychic Stream can be super detrimental if you end up shuffling too many uh, minions into your opponent's deck, but I was trying it with, uh, with two and then zero and maybe one Psychic Stream is kind of the right number. Uh, other than that, the only other new card that we've got in the list is the Spirit of the Dead. This is the uh, total, the Spirit for uh, for Priests, a 1 mana 0 3 stealth for a turn. After a friendly minion dies, shuffle a 1 cost copy of it into your deck. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be combining this with. Uh, maybe we want to use it just to get uh, more Obsidian Statues or Hakars in the deck, or some more Coffin Crashes or something like that. Even some more Lyras could be okay, but uh, I, I'm not sure if we want to be putting more Gilded Gargoyles or Dead Ringers into the deck. At the very least, it does put more cards in our deck uh, for our um, for the Corrupted Bloods to hopefully not kill us. Um, some notable omissions here, no Northshire Clerics, which I think is fine. I think a lot of those Cloning Gallery decks uh, decided to you know, cut those... Uh, uh, Cloning Gallery and Resurrect X decided to cut the, the lower value minions. Uh, there's no um, Eternal Servitude in here, so we can't have any of those like mid-game shenanigans. And there's no uh, there's no Zilliax in here, and I think Zilliax was a great card with Eternal Servitude, so I understand the cut. No Holy Nova, uh, which is fine. Uh, and the other card that is notably missing from the deck is, of course, it's not a Cloning Gallery deck. Um, but there's no Shadow of Death in here, so we can't find Shadow of Death with Shadow, with Shadow Visions, so something to keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, we're going to jump in, we're going to play some games with this Hakar Priest deck, and hopefully we can uh, corrupt someone's blood and just make them explode. Ah, oh, let's go. Up against the Warlock here. Let's have some fun. <laughs> the light shall bring victory. Hmm, I think we'll keep the Spirit Lash, lots of, uh... Aggressive Warlocks out there, and Gilded Gargoyle, um, a, a bit of a hedge. I think we could definitely draw worse than the Gilded Gargoyle. There is some better stuff in there. Radiant Elemental is going to be good. Just to start deploying some uh, threats. Just start trading in. All we want to do is just delay the game, hopefully. What do we got here? Two drop. Truth is found in Welcome to the field. Turn one, Keliseth. But the Lesser Diamond Spellstone is a very good draw. Hopefully we can pick up a Shadow Visions, maybe. Opponent did the tap. They did the monster tap. Get the Gargoyle out here. It's just more efficient. We also don't have many other spells to play with the uh, Radiant Elemental. 
Someone called for Okay, so we're on heals. Soul infusion. So we're expecting a rather huge uh Oh no, happy girl. Interesting. Hmm. I think that was the right move. If our opponent wants to trade this 5 to. Jeez. The Keliseth value is. Um, really doing some damage to us. Maybe we can survive until Obsidian Statue. Maybe our opponent already has the Silence in their hand. We do have this psychic screen, now, which is potentially necessary now. Maybe we can get our opponent to extend a little bit more into it. Nordrasil, what is going on, Nord? Good to see you. How's work been going? How's work been treating you? Always lovely to see you in chat. We're playing some Hakar Priest. We're up against a particularly good draw from uh, this opposing Warlock deck. Oh, especially with the Dreadlord. We have the Psychic Scream. And a handful of coins. See what our opponent's four card hand can do. We've got our Obsidian Statue next turn, which I think we should be pretty happy with. Especially if our opponent has a... Oof, happy game too. Come on. Let's hope that they do not have the silence. Hopefully they're packing too much of that, that new good stuff. Solarium. What's gonna happen here? In the light's name. That doesn't look like a spellbreaker. And that doesn't look like a spellbreaker Gain four. Come on, kill the fungal enchanter. You know you want So do we need to rip the uh, the mass hysteria here? No, we can take the holy smite now. Uh, We got the Obsidian Statue, which is the most important thing. Oh, it's different minions as well. So we wasted a coin. But fingers crossed the Corrupted Blood will kill our opponent a lot quicker than it will kill us. This looks rough. It is indeed rough. It's good. Busy time of the year for insurance reasons. I've been off for a week. So I'll be going back Friday. Hopefully you've enjoyed your week off then. Good to, uh, good to hear you getting a bit of a break. Okay. Let's, uh, flay some souls. Feeling good. Feeling good about this. Why do you 
car is also just quite large. Mushroom power! Speaking of quite large. That's good. We got pretty lucky there. Power word shield. Huh. Who's getting buffed? God. Do we do this now, or do we wait until Hakkar dies? I think we have to do it now. Job's done. Damn. Just, it was just in case we got the Obsidian statue. Vox212, any thoughts on Discard Wall? I've been messing around with Harik, but I kind of want to craft Jeff Click and try it out. Uh, I think Discard Wall look, looks fantastic. I think it looks like a super strong deck. You should definitely check it out. I went up with the great draw with the despicable boy there. Kidding me, we can't even kill our uh, our Hakkar. 3, 6, 12, 15, 19. Yep, unfortunately, just uh, couldn't get there. Well played. Ah, jeez. Oh, thank you. Rough. Would have been good to hit that mass hysteria off the first shadow visions. Obviously we can't control it, but I think we try we played to the best of our abilities. Maybe there was a couple of situations where we could have tried to uh, we goofed with the spell stone, we used one too many coins. So just gotta remember that it is four different uh minions with this spell stone. But GG, on to the next one. Alright, here is another warlock. I don't think we'll keep the spirit of the dead. But Gilded uh, Gargoyle and Spirit Lash are fantastic. Uh, what does the Death Rattle do for the big minion? Uh, so Hakkar uh, on Death Rattle shuffles a Corrupted Blood into each player's deck. The Corrupted Blood casts when drawn, deals damage to you, and then shuffles two I copies of itself you. into your deck. Greetings. Into the owner, the whoever cast its deck. So it kills you quite quickly. Oh my gosh. It's the same person. No. Okay. Uh, I do like this Radiant Elemental Power Chip, though. We should save this for, uh... No, actually, we'll, we'll kill this now, just in case they somehow kill our Radiant Elemental. Admittedly, getting the Shadow Visions for a, uh, a Spellstone would be pretty good. The 10 cost Hakkar? Yeah, so, so shuffles uh, Corrupted Bloods into the deck. So the idea being that your opponent will hopefully have more, uh, more, uh, less cards in the deck, you'll have more than them. And they kill themselves a lot quicker. I think you need the Nether Portal quest with it to be viable. I don't think so. I don't think Discard Warlock needs the quest. Prove your worth, Kerr. Interesting. First time seeing the Charonite, uh, Charonite, Saronite Chainmaster here. Hmm. This is a tough one. Mass Hysteria or Psychic Scream? I think we'll go Mass Hysteria. Uh, trade here. Yes, if you haven't seen Mass Hysteria, it's kind of like a priest brawl. Makes everything attack each other. Can be quite good on a board of uh, wolves, for instance. Perhaps on a board for Ch Saranite Chain Gangs. Sweet. Great result. Yeah, it's really good when there's a lot of, like, minions with slightly higher toughness than attack, because it tends to mean more of them attack. Speak your peace. Oh, on the very heavy one drops. 
Very heavy on the one drops, rather. Uh, we're on a pretty good life total, so we might try and transition to Shadow Reaper Anduin. Uh, maybe we should save it for when they start dropping the uh, the five and six drops, though. Your magic shall not. Ah, this is good. Enough. The light has betrayed me. Thanks for bearing with us all these new cards. It's hard to keep up. That's okay. I know it's like certainly a lot to take in, and I. I really underestimated how much there was to talk about all the cards uh, during the pack opening. We just kept going on and on and on and on. Mushroom power! That's kind of one of the disadvantages of, uh, of Mass Hysteria, is sometimes you get some really awkward attacks. Hunter is tapping real hard here. It is quite concerning. This is a fungal man. See if we can get that psychic scream, or should we? Or are we just gonna? Probably just gonna shoot things down, right? Hmm. There's a tough choice there. We don't have anything big in our uh, resurrect pool, so I feel like we'll just need to take the psychic scream and try and not die. Hope that they do a, play a big threat oh, here, like a doom guard. A little bit awkward there. Not having the having two death rattles in our resurrect pool. Like we never, we haven't picked up any dead ringers or anything like that. So it's just the one Ooh, gilded uh, gargoyle. What's this? Chain gang soul fire. Yeah. So yeah, that's a board. That is a board. We got pretty lucky with that Lyra hitting the Shadow Ed Pain. We're still dead to Soulfire, Doom Guard. Ugh. Kind no. of with the relentless no. pressure there. That was nothing. That was very hectic. So many one drops as well. I wonder if that's the new style of uh, of Warlock that we should be trying to to emulate. Just maximum one drops. Interesting. The light shall bring victory. All right, up against the shaman here. I think we'll send back the spirit of the dead. Still, still feeling a bit weird about the spirit of the dead. Uh, in, in a lot of these games, if this card was like a North Shire cleric, it would have been fine. But you know, es uh, especially because the spirit doesn't really add a lot 
Like, it doesn't add good stuff to your resurrect pool either. Hmm. Curious, curious, curious. Everyone in chat is a sub. Yeah, they are. They are, Nord. We've got, got a lot of lovely people in the chat. A lot of dedicated people. It's interesting. I don't think we have a lot of, uh, kind of randoms who stop by. I think a lot of random people are, uh, lurkers. Got a lot of lurkers out there. Um... But, yeah, most of the people who stop by and love to chat are, end up subbing. They gotta get that ornament on the tree, right? Uh... Bronson, what's going on? Good to see you. Playing some, uh, Hakar Priest. Looks like our opponent's on, uh, that Burn Shaman kind of list. Not too many other decks were playing Lightning Bolt, but... The deck didn't play Fast Sight, or did it? No, I think it did play Fast Sight. Several on the tree, I love the tree. No, That's what we were hoping they didn't have. Oh, well. gives us a little bit of value. Heal up our Radiant Elemental. But yeah, Bronson, what's going on? We, uh, I, you, you played at the faction championships, did you? Seems like Geist is going to have a heyday in this expansion. That's true. The Geist could come back. The Geist of the East. Uh, Twilight's Call here. Could be pretty good. Do we need another Spellstone whilst we're already charging one up? Maybe. Maybe the game's going to go that long, but I think we're going to take the Twilight's Call. And deploy it. The uh, Dead Ringer will help diversify our uh, our pool of death rattles. Hopefully, we can draw the Hakar with it. Sure did. To a solid of four four finish. Nice. What uh, what formats did you do well, and what formats did you did you drop some games in? Ah, oh, no, our Radiant Elemental has finally finally fallen. Destroy all the humans. It's a big call. I guess maybe we should have coined, considering we are, uh, if all of these die, we are overdrawn by one. Lost round three. Stormy, stormy. So three of the draft. Top deck Cosmotronic Wave. Ah, oh, The Cosmotronic Wave. Our favorite wavy boy. Don't really want to get hexed, hey. We'll coin here just in case what we were talking about happens where we where all three of these die. Actually I guess uh no we do have two two death rattles in the deck. We've got Gilded Gargoyle and uh Dead Ringer. I mean, this is the op the situation where Spirit of the Dead would actually be okay. Guilds of Ravening Draft 2-1. Standard 0-2. Sealed Dominaria 2-1. Toads! Big Toad Boys. Stay Cosmotronic Wavy, exactly. So I think we'll go for the Obsidian Statue this turn and hope that it gets... Hexed, and then we can hopefully play her car next turn. Oh my gosh. Nord with the savagery. <laughs> Crushing head. Yes. Didn't get hexed. Let's go, Hakar! 
opponent has... We both have the same number of cards in our deck. So, this is a bit of a risky Hakar. We also got to keep in mind our opponent might bloodlust our uh, our head off or play the uh, storm storm man uh, storm bringer. Oh, Holy smoke's pretty good. What if we just mass hysteria here? Hmm. These totems just murder themselves. Sweet. Sweet mass hysteria. Storm Man, fighter of the sunny day man. Exactly. Come on, Hakar, you can do it. Yes! Oh, it was very tempting to uh, Holy Smite that, that Hakar last turn. Hopefully our opponent uh, does it for us. Come on, you have like infinite lightning bolts and lava bursts. Come on. There we go. Haha, <laughs> it begins! So there's the Corrupted Blood. Oh my gosh, healing rain. Shadow Vision's a bit of a non-bow. Bit of a non-bow with, uh, Corrupted Blood. How many do we need to cast? One to upgrade this, and two to upgrade this. Uh, we don't want to draw any cards, so let's just take this Shadow Word Pain. Welcome back, Hakar! <laughs> Very good. Get out of here. Welcome back! Oof. Fades, fades it. Okay, what are we doing here? I guess we maybe trade, so everything has just one. I think we go... I wonder... It's going to be a big old trade, and then we're going to Psychic Scream, so... We want to shuffle as few cards into our opponent's deck as possible. We have another spellstone coming next turn. I guess we could have just played Anduin. I, could we have? I guess we could have traded first with the. No, I don't think we could have. This is big tension, by the way. Like, there's a lot of corrupted blood in these decks. Clench. Clench. No! Oh, it begins! Oh. Gosh, gosh, we're gonna take, uh, take some damage here. I was hoping we would hit that uh, obsidian statue again. Uh oh.
No. Hakar, why? No, Hakar, why? Now we needed two spirit life so that we gained as much life as possible. Hmm. We're very dead. The light has been Probably should have healed first. Hey, guess we can. Yeah, no, we totally goofed that turn. We could have, um, uh, we could have. We could have played the uh, end with first and then shot down one of the living earth elementals. We shouldn't have attacked into it first. Hmm. Hmm. I think we've got this. Ugh. As if they draw zero corrupted bloods. Betrayed indeed, enemy pure. Betrayed indeed. Opponent draw no zero corrupted bloods. Admittedly, they were less likely to, because of the psychics. We also goofed that um that shadow root band one, so we'll we'll do one. Alright, up to this paladin here. Uh, we just want to make sure that we have as many early game tools as possible, but this could be some kind of late gamey uh, even paladin, or someone trying to do some cool stuff with, uh, with the new paladin tools. Really feels like this psychic scream should be another mass hysteria. For duty. Kind of want to take Spirit Lash, but I think Mass Hysteria will help us kind of sequence thing things a bit better. Hope what? that our opponent's some kind of mid range. Okay. Well, we now we get to see what Heal pr Heal Paladin is like. It has the uh, turn turn three Thekel. Thekal. Pretty cool. Convert all of but one of your health heroes' health into armor. So now our opponent, uh, you know, if they can heal all 29 of that health, it's a lot of value. Still not sure about the Spirit of the Deads. Yeah, still really not sure. Out of my jungle. Reporting 
for duty. See what the Coffin Crasher does here. I mean, it's only going to bring out a Dead Ringer, but maybe it'll freak our opponent out a bit. We can get a Twilight's Call off. Umbra. Uh oh. What's going to come off this? An egg? And some Makano eggs. Too. Reporting for duty. Straight up. I mean, I guess that was a fine result. Where did you... Where did you go, you horrid beast? Don't call me a horrid beast. Am I the horrid beast? Is the spirit of the dead the horrid beast? Wicked value. Another ego. Yes. Hakar comes. Hopefully our opponent plays a card that has uh, some value of attack. <gasps> no! Stop! Anything stealth is a horrid beast. I'm the opposite of stealth. Oh hey, that's, uh, that's a pretty good result. Oh no! Dead Ringer, you, you failed me for the last time again! All right, Hakar. You betrayed me once. How could I see this, like, demonic... Like, what even is Hakar? A weird spirit thing? How could I ever see Hakar betraying me? Reporting for duty. What? Taran. Ah, oh, jeez. Anduin, huh? I guess it does kill this Robozor. Just had to do a quick, uh, quick little clench. Make sure we didn't, uh... The light has betrayed me! I dare you to draw the Corrupted Blood. And it's pretty unlikely, but... Great! So, we'll be about even on the uh, cards in deck. Coffin Crasher. Mmm. Another betrayal. Betray me once, shame on me. Betray me twice, shame on me. Put your faith in the light. Uh, come on. Reporting for duty.
job's done. Draw a corrupted blood. Ugh. <laughs> How's our opponent still have seven cards in hand? My gosh. Ugh. We're just gonna get killed by this Ashbringer, huh? Is that the way it's gonna be? Is that the way it is? Would quest work with this one? Uh, what quest? The uh, priest quest? Maybe. Yeah, priest quest might actually might work. The light's justice has failed. All right, come on, Hakar, just don't draw me that corrupted blood. Coffin crasher. Hmm. I don't think that uh, that really helps me, right? Let's crash this party. See if our opponent forgets to attack. They could also just draw like 10, 11 corrupted bloods in a row. Ah, you've betrayed me for the last time. Again. Alright, let's take a look at the deck. Unfortunately, we really weren't able to do a lot with it. Um, I think there's just a couple of a clunky parts here. Psychic Stream is good, but shuffling more cards into our opponent's deck is severely detrimental if we are relying on Hakar to win the game. I think that getting another Obsidian Statue in here would be really good, as we kind of want some higher value targets to to hit and if we're running coffin crashes we may as well play more upside for it like having coffin crasher die and putting a dead ringer into play or at worst or worse nothing into play doesn't really feel too good so i'd like to see more late game less coffin crashes get the second mass hysteria in here maybe play more of a um maybe play more of a uh cloning gallery type package in fact do i still have yeah here's the list that i that i was experimenting with um, another night where we were just, uh, you know, playing more, more top end, Lich King, Obsidian Statue, Cloning Gallery, Hakar, Shadow Essence to get some copies of hopefully these big things. We've got Zilliax, Lyra, and, um, Eternal Servitude in here, and a couple of other cards I was experimenting with, like Shadow Madness and, uh, things along those lines. Uh, Blood Mage Thalnos as well is a particularly interesting omission from the last deck because it does go so well with um, Spirit Lash. Uh, but big thanks to Who Is Neo for the Hakar deck. Um, I will probably be playing a little bit more and a lot more with Hakar, a little bit more with this deck and a lot more with Hakar because I really love uh, Hakar. I, I want to try and make it work. Um, I just don't don't exactly know how. I, I do want to try a list that has Hakar and Hemet so you can try and shoot the uh shoot the spell out of your deck after it shuffles back in regardless if you are watching on youtube all the links are down in the description including a link over to the hearth pwn deck article jump over there give the deck a plus one leave a lovely thoughtful comment as i know you will uh all my links are down there as well the best place to catch me is on twitter at tommy underscore wave or you can get me on twitch now four days a week uh 12 o'clock australian eastern standard time to 3 p.m australian eastern standard time monday wednesday thursday friday and until next time Stay safe, stay wavy, 
and um, drink the Kool-Aid. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out other ones over here or come subscribe to the Wave Pool for more excellent times.